Hello, I'm Lisa P. Jackson, Administrator of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. The month of May is National Asthma Awareness Month, when EPA and concerned citizens across the country come together to bring attention to an illness that affects 25 million of our fellow Americans and one in every 10 of our nation's children. Protecting the air we breathe and safeguarding the health of our children are two of the most important things we do at the EPA. Over the last 40 years, our work under the Clean Air Act has reduced harmful emissions, cutting pollution in our air by more than half. Whether it's smog and soot pollution from power plants or carbon dioxide and diesel emissions from cars and buses, EPA is taking common sense strides forward in cleaning up our air. Most recently, the EPA proposed a rule that will set the first ever national standards for power plant emissions, emissions of mercury, arsenic, chromium, nickel, and acid gases, pollutants linked to serious health challenges. By the year 2016, these standards would help prevent 120,000 cases of childhood asthma symptoms each year. But EPA's work is not just about enforcing environmental laws. It's also about working with communities and companies, schools and parents to ensure awareness about asthma prevention. This is part of our mission that I understand personally. My youngest son has battled with asthma his entire life. He spent his first Christmas in the hospital struggling to breathe. Since his first attack, our family has been extra alert to any environmental conditions that might trigger his asthma. Everything from a little extra humidity in the air on a hot day to common triggers like dust mites, moles, pet dander, and secondhand smoke. Like every parent of a child with asthma, I know how critical it is to increase awareness about the potential environmental hazards. At EPA, we want to make sure everyone has the knowledge they need to help control asthma. That's why we've put together a host of great resources on our website. To find out more about asthma and National Asthma Awareness Month and learn what you can do to get involved, please visit www.epa.gov asthma. The simple fact of being able to breathe cleaner air has made and will make a remarkable difference for countless Americans, especially those facing the challenges of asthma. This National Asthma Awareness Month, I hope you will join us in making sure everyone knows what they can do to help prevent and protect against asthma. Thank you very much.